Hello there, welcome to Thack Ironworks. Uh, if you are a regular viewer, then you are probably watching uh, the 2020 Chess Challenge where I'm making all these chess pieces. Today we're going to do something a little bit different in that my assistant Fish is going to make one of the pawns. So I'm just going to step, up, step out of frame now, get out of here. I'm working on this uh, little bad boy here. I think this fits my criteria for badass, I think. So anyway, without further ado, I'm out of here. It's Fish. Hey right, guys, I'm going to be making a frog out of some one inch square stock. I'm going to start out by putting it through the power hammer just to widen it out a little bit. Okay, so I've let this cool down. I've got a little bit more width now and I've marked out these lines here. So what I'm going to do is go to the bandsaw and run a cut line through there so that I can fold these edges out and those are going to become the legs. That's going to be my next step. Okay, so I feel like I'm starting to get there. I just cut out a little bit of excess off of his little fingers there. And uh, I think it's starting to take shape kind of nicely. Now let's try and do it again on the other side. Okay, so I've got this relatively symmetrical from side to side. I've still got a lot of detail work to do, but I think I'm happy with the front arms there. Now, I'm not sure how to progress if I should start the legs or the face. I'm just worried if I start the face, then I might wreck it while I'm working on the legs. It's kind of easy to paint yourself into a corner, but we'll figure it out. Okay, so I think I've got about the right nose shape on there. The head's starting to get the right profile. This just being an experiment, I've never forged a frog before. I think I'm gonna have to weld some mass in there to pull the eyes out of there. I want these big bulging bug eyes on there, so it's gonna have to take a little bit more material than I think I have here to work with. We'll see, I guess. Okay, I think I'm happy with those eyeballs. I wouldn't mind a little more eyelid action happening, but I think they're pretty good. It's pretty much there.
All right, so what I've done so far is I've gotten prepared to do the rear legs. I've cut out little sections here just to give myself a little bit of space to work in and not worry about mashing things that I've already done. I finished sculpting up the paws, hands, whatever you want to call them, and now I've welded it to a bar so that I don't have to worry about mashing the details of the face while I'm trying to work on the legs. So now I'm going to heat it up, I'm going to spread the legs out, I'm going to forge them out, get them drawn out more like the front legs, and we'll see how this goes. All right, so that's about all we're gonna get done for today. I might finish the rest of it off film. You guys already saw that leg being made. It's gonna be the same process for this side. I'm gonna make it symmetrical, split the fingers out, shape them after, and then I'm gonna put them into position, clean them up, and you'll probably see the final shots when it's done after that. All right, guys, so I spent a few more hours working on this guy, and I've got him finished off. So I did a little bit of die grinding to shape his pad, the pads of his feet. I uh, just couldn't really think of a good way to forge those. I'm not very good with really fine details yet. Uh, then I spent some time with the torch to shape his limbs, get him sitting into a posture that I am happy with, and put some texture on his back. I used the torch and I actually allowed some oxidation to happen to burn these little warts onto it. So you can actually see it kind of looks like a frog's texture. I was aiming for a red-eyed tree frog, and I think I got mostly there. His limbs are maybe a little bit long, but I'm pretty happy overall with the outcome of this frog. I think it was a fun experiment, given that I'd never forged a frog before, so that was fun. And uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>